Guys have been good so far. So far. Okay. Uh, Ken Velasquez and Travis Brown will square off this July. Both are taking part in UFC 200. And I'll never forget it. There's pain, and then there is everyone else. A legend. Whoa. All right. Okay. Wow. Hi, guys. Hi. There's pain, and then there's everyone else. There's not much space. How does that make you feel? Well, you know, there's the problem is you're Cain. Are you able? Oh, that's that's, that's okay. Cain. Yeah. Are you I'm sorry, able? Ken, are you able? <laughs> what am I doing here? What, what do you say? Sure. All right. Sure? Okay. I, is, is it odd for the two of you to be sitting here? Like this, knowing you're going to fight each other. Um, I think I think in the past, you know, with us, um, you know, fighting other people, we have to do this kind of things where we promote the fight. So mm -hmm. we're always, you know, around our opponents and it's doing business. interviews together. Yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm sure you. Um, do you know each together. other for a long time, or we've just known? I've known of Kane since from fighting, and since I've been mm -hmm. in the UFC, mm -hmm. we have we've met a couple times, uh -huh. but that's about it. You've never like hung out outside of. The no. Just today for this great. <laughs> so, yeah. so, so doing this uh, this kind of thing is this comfortable for you, or do you want like a little wall between you? For me, I'm, I'm fine. You know, it's a competition. You know, yeah, I grew yeah. up competing my entire life. I don't have to, you know, hate the person that I'm fighting. You know, it's, right. it's I'm gonna go out there. I'm gonna push myself to the limit and try to come out on top. Come fight night. So. Do you have to build up a real animosity? No, no. I mean, again, it's the same thing. Um, you know, we know what's at stake when, when we go out there and fight. Yes. You know, um, you know, we both want to go on. You know, go out there and win. That right. that that is the name of the game. So, so yeah. Um, you know, all that aside, this is a sport. You know, this is our job. We want to go out there and win. So is I, that's what it comes down to. Is there a brotherhood in a way in in this community that you have? I feel like. You know, you go out there and you share the octagon with somebody that you you leave the cage, you leave the octagon, and you, you have that much more respect for the person. Oh you know, not everybody can get in, get in there and do what we do. That's so, for sure. Um, you know, you have to respect the other fighters that, you, you know, the guys that you go up against, guys that even run their mouth, you know, talk a little trash or something. At the end of the day, a lot of times it's, mm -hmm. it's you know, kind of squashed. You know, it's, right. it's you, know, you got to respect each other. Travis, are two of you going to have a moment at the big press conference? We oh, yeah. go after each other. Um, for me, that's not my style of, of doing things. You know, mm -hmm. I'd rather go out there and fight and show, you know, show what I'm about, and not really talk about it beforehand. You know, um, but there are fighters out there that, that do do that. They have a, you know, they get the gab that can talk before the fight, that build it up. Right, right, yeah. Let me ask, you, what is going on in UFC? Every time something's built up, there's an upset. Certainly, Ronda, you know, would be the prime example. Mm -hmm. Connor, who was the other biggest star in terms of the public. Losing as well. Holly Holm ends up losing to Misha. It seems every time there's somebody there, that person loses. What is that? I think and we're paying attention this, now too. Yeah, this isn't role play. You know, it's not. It's not the WWE. Right. It's not a movie. It's not a scripted television show. You know, this is as real as it gets. We go out there and we're trying to compete against each other. There's no politics. There's no. There's no BS. And I guess you, know, you go out there happen. and it's, for, I mean, it's as real as it is. Even with the most skilled fighter, you're having an off day or an off moment, yeah. and everything can change. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I think the, uh, the room for error is a lot smaller, you know, in, in MMA compared mm -hmm. to other sports. I mean, we have, you know, the, you see the gloves that are just a little bit of padding on the gloves, and that's not just it. We have boxing, kickboxing, you know, we use elbows. Um, you wrestle on the ground, jujitsu. So again, the the margin for error it just yeah. shrink it just shrinks there's, that much. There's no eight count. You know, like a boxer gets knocked. Right. He he That's gets right. hurt. He can take right, a knee. Right, right. Yeah. He gets right. you know about ten where, seconds. Where a boxer can be suspended for jumping on somebody who's down on the canvas. Oh yeah. That's where you score. Yeah. Oh yeah. Right That's where there. we finish fights. Mm -hmm. So uh, when you're out there fighting, I mean, these rounds go by very quickly. I don't know if it seems that way when you're in the octagon, <laughs> watching and they I'm go by it. very quickly. Yeah. You know, it's the science of how long is a minute. You got when five you minutes. We'll we'll show you. I don't yeah, have yeah. Yeah. Right. the demonstration. Kane's <laughs> great at the grind. You know what I mean, he'll make you feel like five minutes yeah. in an hour. What are uh, each other's strengths that you're aware of? Um, as far as Travis, um, watching him fight in the past, he's a guy who's a big guy, athletic. You know, he long reach. Yeah. He's got good kicks and really good takedown defense. Your turn. Yeah, this guy's <laughs> like the exact opposite. I mean, not exact opposite. He's got good striking. 
His wrestling's on point. He's one of the best wrestlers. I mean, he ran the division mm -hmm. for years. So um, based on his pace and, and, and his heart, you know, the guy just keeps going. Yeah. So. What's the weights? How much will you weigh in the, weigh in the ring? Uh, probably about 235. How tall are you? Six, six seven. seven. Two thirty. Mm -hmm. How tall are you? Six, six seven. seven. Wow. Mm -hmm. And how tall are you? Can? Six one and, and a half. Ah, you? Said, you know. <laughs> now I have to do that. You shouldn't have to do that. Five one and a half. No, I love the idea. It's, it's kind of like NBA basketball. You're six one. You're kind of short, right? Uh, for for a point for, guard. for this weight, I yeah. am because. Mm -hmm. A lot of the guys that I fight are usually a lot taller than me. Now, yeah. is that an advantage or a disadvantage? You can come in under, but yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, as far as the weight class, I think uh, there's a lot of room in there. You know, it's anything from uh, like 188 all the way to 265. Mm -hmm. So all in that range, you can. Sorry, yeah, 206. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you, you 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 can weigh in there in that range. Um, is it an advantage? No, it's not an advantage. You know, to be longer and lengthier, I think is is more the advantage. Yeah. So some fighters really focus on who their opponent is and tailor what they're going to do for that fight based on who they're fighting. Do you focus on just what you're good at or do you tailor um, and get ready for who you you're to about do, to attack? You have to do both um, in this sport. You know, for me, in between camps, so my camps are about 10 weeks long, but in between camps, that's when I really work on myself, um, my skill development. Um, during a camp, that 10 weeks I'm getting ready for now it's going to be king you yeah. know so for us we're going to be picking up the grappling and the wrestling we, we do tailor it a little bit towards him but at, at the same time I don't want to dance to his music right. so I don't want to try to fight like him you know I, also, I have stuff yeah. to try to fight like myself. Once you get hit it changes doesn't it? For most people. Yeah. Yeah. Some people yeah. Depends yeah. on who you get mm -hmm. hit by. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right uh, update on Rhonda how's she doing? She's doing great. Is she fighting Wonderful. again? Uh, she definitely will, yeah. Yeah, she's still the biggest attraction, period. So everybody's yeah. waiting. As I told you, she's been here. We've all been armed. Oh, by yeah. Her. Oh, yeah. So we're all, we're all big fans. Yeah. <laughs> it's a great experience. But she's been yeah. so open about, I mean, I was shocked to hear what she had gone through when she how suffered that she loss was, and, yeah. and how open she was about um, depression and, and suicidal thoughts. I mean, she really put it all out there. Yeah, a lot of people don't understand what we put into the sport, you know. Um, for me personally, I've, I'm away from my, my kids and my family for 10 weeks at a time. Mm -hmm. My friends don't see me. I go MIA. You know, mm -hmm. I disappear for 10 mm -hmm. weeks at a time. So, mm -hmm. um, and I mean, every day you're pretty much bleeding. You're, you know, upset about something. It's yeah. very emotional. Yeah. And, um, you know, when you go out there and, and it doesn't go, the fight doesn't go, go your way. Yeah. It's tough. It's a tough pill to swallow. Be isolating. You know? I'm well, sure. you give everything you have to it. Does it define who you are, though? Is this it? What fighting? Mm -hmm. uh, no, not for me. And that's that's one of the things that I've had to. Unfortunately, you know, I've suffered a couple losses, and um, they don't get any easier. I like to say that I'm okay with being a sore loser. <laughs> you know, I deserve to. I, I work my my butt off in this sport. Mm -hmm. um, you know, so if it doesn't go my way, I get a little depressed. You know, yeah. I go. Hiding a hole for a month, mm -hmm. and you know, and then you eventually okay. start waking, making my yeah. way out. I mean, yeah, you, same thing. You've been through everything, right? Mm -hmm. uh, your mental status if after you lose a fight, what is that like? It's both. It's both positive and negative. You know, I think uh, for for me, for competing for so long in wrestling, I, I wrestled in high school and college, and you know, the season of wrestling is so long that you have so many matches that you really don't go undefeated. You know. In a whole year, so in losing a fight, um, yeah, it's, it's definitely a bummer. You know, you're you're definitely you know depressed and everything else. But also, you just try to get the best thing from it. You know, L look at the film. What did you do wrong? Yeah. What can you improve on for the next fight? And Perfection. That's how. That's what you do. Yeah. Well, thanks, guys. Shake hands, guys. guys. Come on, let's see you shake hands. All right. All right. I know you've got work to do. Mm -hmm. All right, UFC uh, 200 happening Saturday, July 9th. By the way, we just got word that uh, Dana White said that Connor will not be fighting in the next. Mm. It was up in the air again. No. He's, he's not going to be back there. Yeah. Uh, Saturday, July 9th at T-Mobile Arena in Vegas. Tickets go on sale Friday. Pleasure to meet both of you guys. Thank, Thank you, guys. Thank you very, very much.